Yo, what up, what up, what up? Welcome back. I know I've been gone for a minute. And listen, you know what I mean? Yo, look, this cat is trying to eat me at the moment, and it's upsetting me. All right? This is this is my kitten. I know y'all remember my kitten, man. I put up mad shorts about my kitten. It is like, yo, look, man, you get to a certain point in life, you've seen enough war, enough bullshit, enough nonsense. You just, you're like, I'm I'm so tired of, like, everything. Get, 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 get. Sometimes you got to hit the spray bottle. Let it know. You know what I mean? Because I'll be honest, it's trying to, like, pull my cords out. It just stopped my recording a second ago. Right. I don't know how it does all these things. Right. Get, get. Right. There's a new song out. It's going viral. It's from Oliver Anthony. Um, there, there was a, there was a phrase from Albert Einstein. He said, I don't know. He said, I don't know what, you know what I mean? World War III's weapons will be fought with. You know what I mean? Or what World War III weapons will be used. Weapons will be used in World War Three, but I know the fourth one will be sticks and stones. Well, I'm not a hundred percent sure when the revolution will happen, but like I'll be honest with you, I think this song might be playing when it happens. Now I've heard it's like eighty-five billion times, right? Because I've been thinking about like how I want to feel about it. I'm not really doing reaction. What I'm doing is kind of breaking it down, just bringing it to y'all and breaking me off a piece. So I'm gonna upload this to both my Appalachian reactions and my Pinoy News channel, right? So, without further ado, man, let's let's get to the music. You know what I'm saying? Well, I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away, drag back home and drown my troubles away. God, it's beautiful, man. It really is beautiful, you know. I oftentimes, like, I, the reasons I did YouTube, man, listen, I'm not Illuminati, but it's just, I'm Italian, so I talk my hands, so I apologize, right? A lot of times, like, the reasons why it is that I did YouTube is because, like, I was feeling a way about, like, you know, I'm not leaving a lot for, like, those who come after me and my children, you know what I mean, my grandchildren, whatever the case is. I'm not leaving a lot for these people. I'm leaving, you know what I mean, like, my legacy is my knowledge, my wisdom, skills, you know, just raw ability, you know what I mean? And one of the reasons that I'm not going to be leaving a lot to him is because of the fact that, like, I've spent my whole life, like, working overtime hours for bullshit pay and never having enough to make the ends meet the end of the week. You know, it was a movie um, called Margin Call, right? It had Kevin Spacey and... I want to say Henry Cavill. I think I, I'm not 100 percent sure. I think that was Henry Cavill in it. To be honest with you, um, I had the dude from Suits. Uh, I don't know what his name is. I had the guy from Legion. I don't know what his name is either. Right, cool guy. Right, whatever. Right, but the guy from Legion, he looked and he said, you know, they asked him. He said, you know, you made like what, you know, 1.2 million last year or whatever it is. He said, how do you spend all of it? He goes, man, you just spend what's in your pocket. It's not that hard. Right. And I guess that's kind of it. You know, like we we all stand here and kind of just spend more than what we need to. But on the same point, even the basics at this point is getting real hard to meet. You know what I mean? They really are. You just dig yourself in these fucking holes. Like, bro, my truck, my SUV, my tile that I have, that's my bitch. I love that vehicle. But it's cost me four grand this year to keep on the road. That's how, yo, I got to redo the fucking brake lines. In. They all rusted out and blew out. I just put a new caliper on. Right? New wheel studs. New ball joint up front. <laughs> new fucking new control arm. Right? New fuel pump. Leather hunting. Alternator. Battery. Another fucking $300. Right? Just more, more, more. Just constantly, man. Constantly. $200 for a tow head. Like, it's just, it's so much. And, like, and that's with a vehicle that's, it's not brand new. It's an 04. Right, everybody said, man, get you an old Toyota. No, I'm not driving a fucking jack car. You mean the motherfuckers who put us out of business? The motherfuckers who took our fucking jobs? I'm gonna fucking stand here and drive that shit? Fuck you. you. Fucking pieces of shit. Fucking tired of you goddamn goop loving motherfuckers. Fuck you. Motherfuckers, man, listen. Man, man listen, let's get back to the video. I apologize. I can work the fuck up, man. Well, I've been selling my soul, working all day. Overtime hours 
for bullshit pay so I can sit out here and waste my life away drag back home and drown my troubles away it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me people like you wish I could just wake up and it not be true but it is all it is living in the I remember, man, like legitimately, I remember when I was a pup, right? I was like having a, a, a family and a community and a culture was a big part of like coming up, right? Like our differences were kind of, it was nice, right? Like. You, you you dealt with Puerto Rican because like yo, you love Puerto Ricans, you know what I'm saying? Black people were cool, right? I was Italian. We were Irish kids and German kids, right? And all of them had their own shit. Y'all had the same they had their, they had y'all had their stuff. And it was enough. Because we had family. Something to be proud of. It's all gone. Right? It's all gone at this point. Like look at this. Now Appalachian is going to save the rest of the fucking planet. Like, legit, like, this is going to be a revolution. Like, this is a revolutionary song at the end of the day. Like, this will be played over speakers. You know what I mean? And, like, it's beautiful. It's powerful. It's old dull pro and shit, man. I love that guitar. It's nice. These rich men, North or Richmond, Lord knows they all just want to have total control. Want to know what you think. Mm. Yeah, I love that. <sighs> rich man north for rich when you talk about people in DC. Right. You know. And a lot of people like I've watched like a million reactions to this, you know what I mean? Because everybody's like, man, it's viral. I'm gonna fucking hit this joint. I'm gonna hit it too. I don't care. I don't fuck. Mm. You think it's just the politicians. It's not, it's the bureaucrats. Right, it really is. It's the deep state. It's the management class. You know, what I mean, they've done this to us. You know, which is something I'm gonna I'm gonna make another video here in a minute. We're gonna talk about that with the Hawaii thing. I'm gonna explain like why it is that things are the way they are. It's important to understand, right? It really is. Like these managers have more power. Than you really think they do? You know, what I mean, the end of the day. But you know, let me rewind a little bit. We'll keep banging. Like, if you really think about all the ways you tax, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's fucking really bananas in the end of the day, right? And people go like, oh, man, you're affected tax rates, like 23% or whatever. Like, bro, fuck you, right? Like, real shit, like, fuck you. You got your federal, your local, your state, right? And you got your, you know I mean, Social Security, Medicare tax, and you got your unemployment tax, and you got your uh, your employment tax, right? Which is, you know what I mean? Like, it's a tax just for being employed. They call it an EMS tax here now, too. That's 50 bucks a year, right? And then you got, you know what I mean, registration for your card, and you got your registration for your motherfucking, uh, for your motherfucking license and shit. You got your fees for your motherfucking, <laughs> fees for your property tax, right? Then you got your, you know what I'm saying, like your taxes for your motherfucking, you um, what the hell is that shit called? Um, for your phone, right? You got your motherfucking cell phone taxes. You got your cable taxes. You got your internet taxes. You got your motherfucking taxes for, you know, I mean, electricity. You got your taxes for generation. You got tax like it's just, it's just constantly taxed. Then you got fucking sales taxes, right? And then you got taxes for, you know, what I mean, like convenience fees, and convenience taxes, and all the fuck taxes that they can fucking find and put on your motherfucking ass on a regular basis, right? And then they tax your fucking water. They tax every fucking thing that we goddamn do. And you say a dollar ain't shit. You ain't wrong. Like legit. Right? With the baby boomers retirement. Like, yo, they're, they're pulling them motherfucking 401ks and pensions out of the Social Security. All that money that was stashed up at 0% interest is all coming back out into the markets being driven. And you got demand driven fucking inflation. 
Right. And then, you know, I'm saying they're retiring. So therefore, you have inflation on the other side, which is labor driven inflation. Like, yo, inflation's on both sides. And there's nothing they can do about it. And they're trying to raise interest rates to basically just kill the economy. And that ain't helping shit because that's just not letting anybody have fucking loans. So none of us can afford a fucking house. Like, yo, it's, just, it's ridiculous at this point. Like, nobody, like, what are we going to do? Rent 4000 a month. One fucking house 4000 a month. You were fucked either way it goes. And even, like, I moved out to the goddamn sticks in the middle of the fucking woods. And it's still like, man, listen, the house is going for, like, you know, 1800 a month. Like, this is the middle, like, I'm 50 miles from the goddamn fucking nearest place to work. Like, come on, man. Like, there's no escaping this shit anymore. We have to do something, but, like, nothing can be done because of the fact that, like, yo, the capitalist structure, you know, da 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 You don't have family anymore or community or fucking heritage. You have no culture. You have nothing that binds you to anybody the fuck else. No one's going to look out for you. They're going to go, oh, man, he made bad decisions because he's an individual, right? It's like, yo, fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, yo, let's, let's keep going. Let's keep rocking. politicians look out for miners and not just miners on an island somewhere lord <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> oh man listen like yo y'all know what that's about man it's that Epstein shit who Clinton and the Clintons and Obama and everybody basically, you know what I'm saying? He went to that fucking island and shit. You know, I mean the Lolita Express and all the nonsense. Mm. Just saying. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the whole beast milk and welfare. God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge drowned. Yeah, we call that goy slop where I come from. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, like, yeah, we probably, you know, shouldn't, you know, have like people over here, uh, you know, having free goy slop handed to them every week. You know what I mean? Like, I, I've. I've stood here and I've shared that picture like a whole bunch of times, like a single mom's motherfucking fridge and shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's a, uh, it's not, you know, I mean, not a positive thing in the end of the day. You know, it's just really not. So I'm, ju I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Like, legitimately, like it's, you know, we're poisoning our own people, and you know. We shouldn't be standing here letting people buy junk food on fucking food stamps. It's just not something that should happen. You know, I mean, like we have a massive obesity epidemic and everybody's dying of diabetes. You know, I mean, like it's some ridiculous amount of our population is fucking obese. I mean, we're not like number one in the world anymore. Where are you at, motherfucker? I swear to God. This cat keeps trying to eat my ankles. Right. But, you know, like real shit, like it just is what it is at the moment. You know what I mean? Like, you know, he's not wrong. He was he was dragged for this. You know what I mean? But, you know, because the next line, it hit hard. It hits hard as shit. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground because all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down. Let me replay that, man. Let me let me back this up a minute. We'll re back. I'll back this up and like. I drowned. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground. Cause all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down. Lord, it's a damn shame. It just hits hard. Bro. It just it hits really hard. I mean, this is just reality. As I said, like, it's always, oh, you're some individual and you're making bad choices. No, man, listen, like, trying to make the proper choice and you know what I mean? Nothing you can do about it. Let's keep going, though. What the world's gotten to for people like me, for people like you, wish I could just wake up and it not be true. But it is, all it is, living in the new world, with an old soul. These rich men know the rich men, Lord knows they all just want to have total control. Want to know what you think, 
Well, I know what you do, and they don't think you know, but I know that you do, because your dollar ain't shit. And let me let me say this, right? Like, oh, here's the problem, right? I have I've been I've watched like a lot of reactions to this, right? And I'll be honest with you, like the black dudes who react to it are probably the best. Because every one of them is like, oh, that's Epstein. Oh, you know, I mean, they act like they don't know. We know, we know, right? There's a lot of people out here, a lot of white folks living in the suburbs have no idea what this dude's talking about. They have no clue, right? And it's just, again, it's this management class who goes like, oh, yeah, of course, like, you want to know what you're doing because, like, you know, we have a system to run and we got to keep having the system go forward. And how can we have the system going forward if, you know, we don't have the access to the information that we need? Da, 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 da. We're going to make this better if we can sit here and make things more efficient, right? And that's just all it is. They don't care about durability. They don't care about whether or not, like, you know, you're treated well as a human. They see you as a goddamn number at the end of the day. That's just the reality of things. To keep rocking though. And it's tax to no hand, cause the red men, no the red men. I've been selling my soul, working all day. No, no. Overtime hours for bullshit pay. Radio West Virginia, baby. Right? I'm going to say it like this. I like it. It's a great song. And I'm glad it went viral. And I'm glad everybody's getting a hold of it. You know, because there's people all across the world, but I'll be honest with you, okay? We don't need people all across the world. We need us at the end of the day. That's what we need. We need us to know this shit. We need us to sit here and understand this. This is an argument between the management class and everybody else in America. This is what this is. I know we want to pretend like it's the working class versus everybody. It's, it's the management class versus everybody else. It's the college educated versus everyone else. That's what this is. And say what you want. I'm not wrong. It's Tom Peace. Y'all know the deal. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm up out of here, man. Peace.